All new at six, an 86 year old Colorado man is alive and well, but the federal government doesn't seem to believe him and even took his social security away from him. Jackie Cray has spoke with the family about all the hoops they've had to jump through to get their money back. This family is doing everything they can to prove this man is alive. They've gone to the social security office, even the bank, and have been on hold for hours with the Department of Treasury. And so they hope one fax from this mail center in Longmont will solve all of their problems. For a full month now. Hello, you have reached the Bureau of the Physical Service Call Center. At Teresa Department Dorian has been hitting the phones. But it's not going through. Could you please give me a new fax number? Desperately trying to prove her 86-year-old dad, John Gomez, walking. is alive. This stuff is the walking dead. <laughs> The Department of Treasury, she says, is withdrawing her father's Social Security check from his account because he's listed as deceased in 2014 for the second time. You know, I've never been dead before. So. He finds the humor in it all. <laughs> it don't, it don't feel bad. But for Teresa, the fax machine at this mail center is her last hope, trying to get the Department of Treasury and the Social Security office on the same page. But that's been difficult. Um, I get the runaround. The Department of Treasury says it's Social Security's business. Social Security says it's their business. Each check is a little more than $1,000. So far, they're only missing one month's worth. But if somebody, like in Dad's case, was alone, they would probably be out uh, home, gas, food. Gomez hopes something will come of this so there's a better system. Make sure you get a death certificate before you do anything like that. Both of these, that's the front and the back. By the end of the day, it seems like there's a breakthrough. It says he is alive and well. I got it. He is alive and well. Yes. Uh, okay, I got it. Jackie Crea, Denver 7. Hey, and we'll vouch for him. He's alive and well. <laughs> and this story seems to have a happy ending because the Social Security office has gotten back to us and a spokesperson says he will help resolve this problem.